perfect size. Ready? Wait till they see it. Oh, oh. Little guy's going after. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Before we get into that, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Established Titles. So Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred as lairds or lords and ladies in English. They'll allow you to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so you can call yourselves a lord or a lady. The coolest part about it all is that with every order placed, Established Titles is committed to planting a tree. So not only do you get to call yourself a lord or a laird, but you also get to help out the environment. So I placed my order a couple weeks ago and this is what I received in the mail right here we got the lord nick bingo certification of my piece of land so this piece of land is in scotland i started off small but you can get any size you want and yeah you can call yourself a lord just like me not only is it a great feeling calling yourself a laird or a lord but if you're looking for a last minute gift to surprise a loved one friend this is it right here. Also, established titles told me that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking. Depending on how many of you wanna become a lord or a lady, we can definitely build a little bingo kingdom. If you support me, support the channel, make sure you go check out establishedtitles.com slash bingo10. Established Titles is running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use my code bingo10 popping up right here on the screen, you'll receive an additional 10% off your order. Link is also in my description down below. Thank you, Established Titles, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. Today, we are gonna be catching microinvertebrates to feed to our puffer fish back at the mini pond. You guys absolutely love those guys, I do too. So I decided, let's go out and catch them their own food. We have a ton of sandbars and tide pools to search through. So yeah, we got the net, we got the bucket. Let's see what we can catch. Oh, got a jellyfish. We're gonna rescue this thing. I'm not getting stung. So I'm gonna try my best here. It's just an outgoing tide right now. I have another like couple hours. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but here we go. Sorry, bud. This is better than you drying up and dying. Let's see. Is he? I think he'll be good, dude. He still has his color and he's still really mushy. I think he'll be fine. Look at that. Boom. Got to be some stuff in here. Maybe an octopus. If we're lucky. These are all hermit crabs. All hermit crab shells. And they're definitely alive because if you look closely, you can see their tracks. All their little tracks. Yo, look, look, this one's moving. See him? Yeah. So is that one. Are these snails? Or is that a hermit crab? What are you? Yeah, this is like a little breeding ground. I mean, there's thousands all different colors look at this one that one's pretty no we got a dried up jelly right here i don't know if she's too dried we may be able to save her let's see very low tide right now if that jellyfish is a goner guys let us know in the comments i am not sure i don't see her moving whatsoever oh a little on this side a little bit. If you guys know, let us know, but I think she may be gone. Dang it. That's one reason we always come out here and just search when it's low tide. A lot of the times you'll have to kind of give a creature a hand and put him in some deeper water. I've done it with eels, octopus, starfish. Yeah, a bunch of things, even some jellyfish. So sometimes it gets really low tide and some creatures get stuck, but luckily we're able to save some. Oh, little crab, little crab. That's what we need right there. See him? Mine, got him. That is perfect size. That's literally what puffer fish feed on in the wild. And that's kind of what we're trying to replicate right now. We're just as natural as possible. So we'll be taking this one. Oh my. Dude, that is such a pretty hermit crab. Look at that. Right in a little tide pool. There he goes. In the bucket. One crab down. We'll probably get like five to eight crabs and uh, see if we can target anything else while searching for these. Hermit crabs everywhere. 
one of these days we gotta come back and get some for this big, big saltwater pond. Oh, sorry there, buddy. But yeah, there's a little hermit crab in there. Perfect size. We need some like this. Keep an eye out for crabs, huh? So cool, bro. Look at all the seagrass. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hold on. There he is. Right here. Ready? <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, got him. There he is. Boom. Second crab down. Want to see some big snook? All right, there's some catfish. There's a lot of snook, jacks. A lot of catfish. Very slippery, dude, look at this. <laughs> Hold up. I feel like Michael Jackson. Oh, dude. Ah. Yeah, I'm all right. Bro, that has got to be the crate. Oh, what is that? I thought that was a hermit crab shell. Big old claw. I wonder if it just pinched me. <laughs> Dude, what is it that? Is it coral? It looks like coral. I caught a lobster back here one time. Oh, what's that guy? Uh, what are you? I saw him, but he's back up in there, deep back in there. Where? Where is he? Got him. Let's go. There he is. I want to show you guys real quick how they bury themselves. I'm going to scoot them in this tide pool here. Watch this. Gone. That's why they are so hard to find. All right, well, we got about four crabs. I think that should do the job. We're going to go give our puffer fish a quick, nice meal. Holy cow, that was a big crab. No clue where he went, but he was big. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back at the mini pond. We are back at the mini pond. Now, before we start feeding our puffer fish here, I do want to give you guys a little update on our barracuda. So unfortunately, we did have to release him due to the fact we caught him in a cast net. So I saw a lot of comments saying, aren't you only allowed to keep them if they're over 15 inches? Well, yes, but in certain areas. Where we caught that barracuda, it wasn't in the area where it had to be 15 inches or bigger. It could have been any size. So that's why we were able to just take him home for the pond, but I didn't know we weren't able to use a cast net. So unfortunately, did have to release him. He's back in the wild. But to make it up to you guys, in the next week or two weeks, we're gonna go out and catch a monster barracuda for that beast right there. It's gonna be huge. So uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna make it up to y'all. With that being said, we do have a whole bucket full of crabs. Not a whole bucket full, but we ended up getting three total. And we're gonna be feeding these guys right here. These guys are probably some of the coolest fish we own. Just they are filled with personality. They eat a ton, so let's see if they want some crabs. All right, start it off. Here he goes. Ready? Wait till they see it. Oh, oh, little guy's going after. Oh, 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 my dude. He's munching that thing. Oh, my gosh. Little puffer. And this is great for him because this is what he would do out in the wild. They also have a beak that needs to be filed down. When he bites that crab shell, it's very hard. So it actually helps file it down. And yeah, wow, this is as natural as it gets right here, guys. Crab burying itself. Oh no, he, is that it? You think he knows that he's right under there. He loves his krill, but Needs to eat some crabs. We're gonna toss another one in. Oh, little one again. Munch. Oh. These guys can literally eat all day. And by the way, our hermit crabs are doing good. All that little food that they're not getting, hermit crabs will end up getting. But um, I got a crab in my hand right here. 
It doesn't seem like the big boy is too interested. It's more, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, never mind. Holy cow. Look at little guys going after him now. That crab may be lucky. He'll kind of just make his home in here, but we do have one more big old crab left and I'm thinking about giving it to that guy right there. There we go. Manta shrimp versus crab. I hope he's coming out. Oh no. Oh! And it's gone. That punch right there just fully knocked out that crab and now he's just gonna munch it away. And that's pretty much how they eat their prey. They have those punchers for that reason. They just stun it. Once it's stunned, they then are able to eat it a lot easier. That thing is creepy. If you had one word to describe that thing, comment down below and let me know. Well, with that being said, pufferfish tried to eat the crabs. They took some good little bites at them, but they weren't able to fully eat them. So we did end up giving one to our mantis shrimp. He ate one. Overall, pretty crazy video. A lot went on. We rescued some jellyfish. We saw a bunch of cool things. And then top it off, we fed our pufferfish some crabs along with their mantis shrimp. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See y'all!